Hello everybody. Hi, I am Jewel and welcome. Welcome to my channel. I hope all of you are doing well. You have everything you need and your families are doing great. Can you believe guys today is Friday the 13th? It's um, when I was a kid, Friday the 13th was always a little spooky to me because of all the um, connotations that it brought. But as an adult, I'm very, very, very glad to see Friday the 13th. It is a day to celebrate and be happy. And of course, today is also Kindness Day, guys. Can you believe that? That they have a day for kindness. I think that's pretty terrific. So let's be kind to each other all day and um, every day after this day, too, because um, kindness is very important. It helps people feel good. It makes you feel nice, too, to help other people feel nice. So let's enjoy the day and continue it. Okay, guys, you had to have heard by now that there is a vaccine coming to all of us. I was very excited, but still a little bittersweet because of all the people that we lost, you know, including my brother and so many brothers and sisters and uncles and fathers and mothers. But I know that they will be happy for all of us that this is coming. It is going to be taking place, from what I understand, at least six to nine months. And from what I was reading, all the states are rolling it out as soon as it is um, possible to take. I know that I cannot wait to be one of the first ones to take it because I know that vaccines work. I know that um, before I was even born, my mother had her first son and he was born with polio. And in the late 40s and early 50s, polio was a very deadly type of, um, of disease and many people died from it. And my brother, of course, didn't make it. But when they came out the, with the vaccine, it changed the whole world. So I know vaccines work and they keep people alive. So I'm so looking forward to it. And as you know, most of us in America, we're used to vaccines anyway. You know, it was coming from the measles, the mumps, the chicken pox. And I had every um, childhood illness, but I also had vaccines for them, you know, as I, um, you know, in grade school and so on. And um, I think it's a wonderful thing because it kind of eradicated all of that. So children today can um, grow up without, you know, having to be sick from those diseases right now, which is a great thing. But I know that as soon as, um, you know, head nephrologists from all kidney organizations, my doctor says, yes, that it is safe to take. I am taking it. And I know that all of those that are have immune deficient, you know, immune deficient um, 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 problems, hopefully you'll be able to take it too, you know, through your doctor and education. But it makes me very, very happy to know that we finally have something that's coming down, you know, in, you know, in some months. So the only thing that we have to do, of course, guys, is stay safe. And from what the National Kidney Foundation says and the CDC says, that this uh, winter is going to be very, very tough, guys, for all of us. It is, of course, all of us are going to be in, at our homes because it's going to be cold outside which means that we are going to be closer together than ever. And so this is going to be a big challenge for all of our country and our families because I know the holidays are coming up, which is Thanksgiving and Christmas. And usually Thanksgiving, we like to have, you know, other people over and um, to enjoy the day. But this year, I think that we're just going to keep it very, very um, family oriented you know, um, dealing with the family within the own home. Because, you know, from what Dr. Fauci says, which is the le the leader of the um, infectious disease doctor, said that even he, and he has two daughters, wants his daughters to come home and be with him and his wife for Thanksgiving. But the daughters took that out of his hands. They said no, that they will not come because he is over 70. And they are afraid that just in case, you know, they should stay away because this is um, this is going to be a tough time right now. And so for all of us with immune efficient, deficient, you know, uh, um, problems, 
I think that we really need to think about that. We need to think about who we have um, over our homes for holidays, who is going to be, you know, in our presence through this winter. Because um, from, like I said, when what the, um, the doctors say, we have to be very, very careful. But for those of us that have been doing, you know, what we need to do throughout this, um, this pandemic, which is um, staying away from crowds, washing our hands, you know, um, wearing a mask. I think that we're going to be okay because we have been trained to do this for quite a while. And um, so we know what to do. And I'm praying and hoping that all of us will take heed because from what the experts said, um, before this, um, this virus is even coming into place, that at least 100,000 people can die before we even have a vaccine. So guys, let's practice safety. Let's tell our friends and family to practice safety because we don't have to lose anyone else to this virus if we do the right thing for all of us. And I know that, like I said, for all of us with CKD, we have been following the rules for a long time, you know, through our doctors, through um, our um, kidney, um, kidney websites through our um, through the CDC we have been trying to follow orders and stay you know stay uh, masked you know um, social distancing all those things and for all of us that do that hopefully we have a shot to be able to stay safe and still be strong when this virus comes when this vaccine comes to us which is going to be a great thing because like all of you I am so ready to get out of this house I'm so ready to um, get back into my old routine of just, you know, me randering around, you know, shopping malls, which I used to love, um, you know, going to the grocery store and not worrying about someone, um, you know, getting too close, but all of those things, guys. So, like I said, it's going to be bittersweet when it does come because we have lost so many people, you know, through this um, journey of this um of this virus but for those that are here you know we have a great shot to um, to conquer this through this vaccine and to live normal lives again so guys let's take care of ourselves let's be very very careful about what we do not fearful but just careful and know that this too shall pass very very soon and I know all of you like myself is looking forward to it so guys, in the meantime, let's take care of each other. Let's love each other. Let's love our families, our friends, our communities. You know, let's send love to the whole world. You know, because love multiplies, as you know. Positivity multiplies. Hopefulness, hopefulness multiplies. So let's let's do this for all of those that are that are going through so many trials and tribulations right now. Loss of job not having enough to eat, you know, being evicted from their places where they live. There's so many things going on, guys. So for those of us that still are doing well and doing great, let's send love and care to all of those that aren't so that their lives may, you know, lift up and be better, you know, because when their lives are lifted up and better, it is better for all of us, guys. You know what they say that we um, that we live and we die together. So, you know, what's good for everyone, what's good for one person is good for everyone. And what's bad for one person is bad for everyone. So let's stick together. Let's love each other. Let's send love. Let's be grateful, be happy. You know, all of those things that keep our spirits up. Let's do that, guys, not just for ourselves, of course, but for our family and our friends and all of those that are going through so much, guys. So I want all of you to take care and thank you so much for listening. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And I want to tell all of you that I love you. I am sending you so much love and care and to let you know that you're not alone in this journey. None of us are, guys. I learned that when I had that terrible accident that really shook me up. And even though my family wasn't around me doing a lot of this, there were so many people that were there for me, that kept my spirits up, that kept me going, that, you know, gave me so much kindness. 
you know, to keep me um, to keep me positive. So let's do that for other people, too, guys. People are going through a lot right now. So let's be kind. Let's be happy. Let's keep their spirits up. So, guys, take care of yourselves and I will see all of you on the next video. Bye.